morning. Oh, uh, speaking of tasty cookies, uh, Norman, this is Berta. Hello. What is this, a fix-up? No, no, uh, no, nothing like that. That's good, because I'd probably kill him. <laughs> nothing personal, Cotton Top. I just kind of like it rough. Have another cookie. Thank you. So is anybody going to tell me what's going on? Well, it's a, it's a little complicated. Um, Charlie... Got it. <laughs> Got it? How, how could you get it? There's a Rolls Royce in the driveway, and... I found these hanging on the mailbox. So I'm guessing that your brother's got some bimbo upstairs and Norman here is her daddy or her sugar daddy. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm the husband. Judges? <laughs> you gotta give it to her. Yes. I mean, tough break. You got a gun? No. Want one? Berta. I'm making small talk. Listen, uh, Charlie is coming with me to work today. Why? Well, he's gonna help me at the office. You want a bet? What's up with Uncle Charlie? What do you mean? He's peeing off the deck. I thought we weren't allowed to do that. We're not. We're not. No, we're not. Berta, why don't you tell me what you need, and then you can go enjoy your day off by spreading sunshine and cheer to others. It's about the house. I should wait for Charlie. I live here, too. What's the problem? I'll wait. <laughs> for God's sake, pretend I'm Charlie. Talk to me. Okay. Hey, Charlie, I thought it over, and if you want me to kill your brother, I'll need the cash up front. <laughs> Very amusing. Thanks, I've been taking an improv class. Okay, here's the deal. I got five brothers and sisters. I'm the middle child, which probably explains why I'm such a people pleaser. Uh -huh. Anyhow, my brother Philip, he's the second oldest. He's in the roadside fireworks business, which is, as you might expect, seasonal. <laughs> now, this creates a lot of economic uncertainty, which has strained his marriage. Perhaps not as much as him boinking his wife's half-sister, but it's a snowball effect. Anyway, to make a long story short... Too late. Fair enough. Berta won. Zippy won. Anyway, Philip can't live at his house because technically it's a crime scene. Which is why I wanted to ask Charlie... Whoa, 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 whoa. You, uh, you want your brother to stay here? Oh, don't be stupid. He's staying at my place trying to wean himself off the meth and the codeine and whatnot. I want to stay here for a couple of days. Oh, oh, um... That's okay. I'll ask Charlie. No, you don't have to ask Charlie. You, you can ask me. Fine. Oh, you'd like an answer now? That'd be swell. Ah, uh, ah, uh, well, uh, 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 I, I would have to say, um... Uh, after due consideration and uh, and uh, uh, taking into account all the uh, uh, factors that are, are involved, that it would be our pleasure to have you. Super. Do you mind if I take your room? M my room? Gee, I... I Trust I, I... me. You want me to have a room with a private crapper. <laughs> it's a shame. You paying all that money for an ex-wife and an ex-wife's house, and you're not allowed inside either one? Exactly. Hey, Red, you want to top this off for me? Certainly. May I get you a short stack and some pork links while I'm at it? <laughs> yeah, I'm full. But as long as we're discussing dining choices, why don't you bite me? Say what you want about me, but at least I've never chosen to have women in my life who do nothing but mistreat me. Hey, stud, I don't know what kind of sick, twisted party you had in your bedroom the last couple of days, but I sure as hell ain't cleaning it up. <laughs> Morning. Great googly mooglies. <laughs> what the hell happened to you? I'm not sure. It looks like you got bit in the face by one of them Ebola monkeys. I don't think so, Berta. I mean, you weren't exactly eye candy going in, but... <laughs> Now, woof, you could scare the flies off a manure truck. Thank you. Uh, until you said that, I was feeling a little self-conscious. Uh, 
you know I'm razzing you, don't you? Yeah. I mean, it's really not that. Oh, sweet Lord, I'm going to lose my egos. <laughs> Good coffee. Good morning. It's getting there. <laughs> and you, uh, why do you enable this behavior? Why? I'll tell you why. Because your brother is the embodiment of the can-do, roll-up-your-sleeve spirit that made this country great. He never gets discouraged, he goes after what he wants, and he doesn't know the meaning of the word quit. And if the day should come, when any man, no matter how humble, can't go out there and soil the loins of some hot little dancer, well, I don't want to live in that America. Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of gray. I'm about to do a load of laundry. Last chance to change your underwear. I'm good. Oh, uh, but you might want to hold off on the washing machine. I think uh, Charlie and his friend are still in the shower. Uh, I'll check. <laughs> you were right. I wouldn't wait for me to get that. I find that just a couple of drops of lemon juice on the dryer sheet really freshens up the whole load. Really? I find that just a couple Valiums in my coffee keeps me from snapping necks. Uh, well, uh, hold this, please. I'm just going to pop these on the bed while they're still warm and toasty. So which one of you guys is slipping the high hard one to Martha Stewart? Last night, I, Charlie Harper, Delayed gratification. What'd you do, wait till she fell asleep? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Hey, 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 keep it down, keep it down. Mia thinks I'm taking a power walk. This is a sad, sad day. I always figured you'd be the last guy in the world to end up whipped. I am not whipped. I'm considerate. Considerate? Yeah. See, I love Mia, and I want her to be happy. And I happen to know she's not happy when I smoke cigars and drink and gamble and stay out all night and eat meat and sugar and grease and fat and <laughs> nap and swear and wear shorts and bowling shirts. Charlie, you ain't just whipped. You're rope-saddled and gelded. They could use you to give rides at kids' birthday parties. I am not whipped. Yeah. Here, you might as well take one of these sacks since yours is empty. Hang on a second. That ain't gonna do it, Alice. What? You smell like a beer bottle that just fell out of Joe Camel's ass. Well, what am I supposed to do? Oh, hang on. Let's see if I got anything in here that might mask your stench. Oven cleaner, no. Tidy bowl, no. How do you feel about taking a horse bath with a hunk of blue cheese? It's a hold up. He won't come out of the bathroom. Is he sick? Who won't come out of the bathroom? Your grandson. Why, is he mad at me? <laughs> Jake, honey, what have you had to eat today? Just a little coffee and some vitamins. Okay, but, but where did you find vitamins to take? In your medicine cabinet. I don't have any vitamins in my medicine cabinet. Yeah, you do. The little blue ones with a V on them. <laughs> What's going on? I don't understand. The kid's gonna need another party hat. <laughs> You're up early. Well, it's a beautiful day. Shame to waste it sleeping. Must have got to bed early then. I guess. Well, you know what they say. Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and can't get laid, huh? <laughs> Maybe I'm not trying. Yeah. And look for me next month on the cover of Maxim. I'll have nothing on but the vacuum. Did you get all that, Berta? I think so, but let's do a quick recap. 
Your girlfriend's living with your ex-wife, your ex-wife's dating your girlfriend's father, and to top it off, you're trying to get useful intelligence from a kid who's got precious little to spare. Okay, just checking. Hey, Berta, I want you to meet Mandy. Mandy, Berta. Hi. Enchante. Candy's told me so many nice things about you. How do you know Candy? She's my daughter. Your daughter? Sweet whistling Geronimo, you people are like a box of hamsters just crawling all over each other. Yes, yes. We all get how this looks, Berta. Hey, I'm not knocking it. I'm just wondering when some of that gravy's gonna spill over on my taters. Um, because you were in love with the woman and obviously still have feelings for her and want to see her again. Oh, that's crazy. God, you were so naive. How am I naive? Oh, oh, I know this one. <laughs> here, the bride of Drunkenstein. <laughs> wow, that's quite a rock. You know what we call babes with rings like that in my neighborhood? Stumpy. <laughs> I'm a bad pussycat. <laughs>